what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is your first time here let me move this real quick oh, like it there we go this is your first time here my name is Israel thank you so much for tuning in I want to make a video today about Jag X okay I joined Jag X today on a swing and I want to show you guys why again part of the background I'm in a training facility this weird bunk bed it's not mine that's just where I'm staying. So let's go first to the daily. Because this is looking very interesting. Let me let me get rid of this first. So if we this is the daily chart. If we do let's do this draw this downtrend from here. Let's take it over here. So we see on the daily chart this downtrend got broken okay so there's a clear breakout right there with some nice momentum after some good consolidation in this area now let's take a look at the four hour chart pretty much matches the the breakout formation some nice consolidation and then some volume and some um good momentum building up getting out of that downside trend and i i want to make clear that this swing trade is completely based on technicals. I know they got some fundamental stuff going on. They are going to present some results in some conference coming up in June. From what I see in the news section here on TD. And uh, they're supposed to have some really good stuff. I just want to make sure that you know that my trade is completely based off technicals. Because I, I know there's a lot of guys... Uh, heavily invested in the company and they have a lot of knowledge on their products and stuff like that and my respects to you guys because you did your homework but this swing trade for me is basically on based on technicals and I am my price target it would be over two dollars that's what I am holding for here so that's the four hour chart if we take a look at the one hour chart I really like this consolidation in this area and then that nice momentum building up here i was a little skeptical because this this company spikes a lot and then crashes right excuse me but here and then this action right here guys very impressive very impressive i think that we have definitely something here we got rid we got out of right here that was a nice breakout area and that's exactly what i got in when i got it my average is 149 so i'm not even that deep in the money i'm i don't have an average down here i'm not gonna lie to you 100 transparent my average is 149 okay so if we look at today's action they have a crazy move here and that's i think when uh uh they announced that they were gonna be presenting on that uh, uh, on that conference, okay? So right here. So let me move this into the frame. So blah blah blah. Jaguar Health and Napo Pharmaceuticals provide key findings from cancer-related diarrhea abstracts submitted to ASCO for June 2021 annual meeting. So that's where they're gonna be presenting. So Jaguar today announced the highlights of the abstract regarding patient outcomes associated with cancer-related diarrhea by Napa Pharmaceuticals, Jaguar's wholly owned subsidiary, and Napa's collaborate, collaborators that has been accepted for post-presentation at the American Society of Clinical Oncology annual meeting, which will be held virtually on, from June 4th to the 8th. So that's the time frame that I'm looking at to hold probably the day before let's see how it behaves and what it does but yeah my average is 149 I got in somewhere in here 149 somewhere in there but uh, yeah I really like also that it came back here and then this nice comf it was like a confirmation for me that I was I was in the right trade after hours when it came back up like this and build this uptrend. And right now, what we're looking at is a nice, in my opinion, a nice wedge here that we could see a breakout forming up. 
a nice breakout formation forming up over 160. Again, keeping it real, 160 is the prior high of day, the day prior. I think this on Monday. Is today Tuesday? I don't even know what day today is, guys. This military training got me all messed up. But one area that I want to highlight for anybody that tries, is trying to get in, I want to highlight some areas of resistance. This area right here, guys, okay? This 170s. That is going to be a tough area because we have, it was support back here, then support here. It broke that support, came back as resistance, and it got tested. If you if you guys take a, a closer look, it was tested a few days, okay? One, two, three, four, about four days. And then this downtrend and that level acted as some heavy resistance. So I'm expecting some resistance when we get to this level and even a possible rejection. Hope, hoping that when it gets rejected, it creates some support about the same 160s, mid-160 area, and then a couple of days of consolidation in that level. So that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting some price action about the 170, 175, you know, give it a few cents. And then I'm, I would expect a rejection. That it would not surprise me that it would get rejected about this price, but I would like it to see hold in that area and consolidate. I wouldn't like to see a rejection and then just get like rice land back down to like the 140s, 150s. I would expect to hold the 155, 165 area for me to like give me even more conviction and probably even add to my position. But today's price action was pretty solid. Again, I think that we have a, some sort of wedge breakout formation happening here that we could see a possible move to the upside, even maybe today before eight o'clock, before the market closes, we'll see what happens. But I just wanted to share this swing idea with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. And let me know in the comments if you are also uh, investor on Jaguar Health. I know I've made some videos in the past, uh, and I mean, they came pretty down, like when I called them, that I was saying that it was pretty much the top of the move, and uh, I had a, a sub dollar price target. But it got pretty close. But now, guys, it's, uh, you know, you gotta trade what you have. Again, I am not invested in the company for the long term. And uh, if you are, that's completely fine. Because I know there's a lot of people that have done their research and done their homework. And I absolutely respect that. As you can see, we're getting some nice buys now. This 20,000 shares. That was, that was nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, I, I'm, I'm liking Jack X, And my price target for the short term will be over $2. And I am looking to hold until that conference uh, comes around June 4, June 5th area. But let me know what you guys think. And again, if you enjoyed this content, I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate all of you guys' support for coming in and at least watching a, a couple videos. All right, guys, have a good night. Be safe.